Hey, what's up everyone? So today I wanted to make a video showing you how to change the manufacturer and model of a virtual machine that is running on VMware. Now this tutorial is more geared for those that are doing the tech support scammer videos. As we all know, they usually pick up that you're using a VMware uh, machine. Now I will say that this isn't foolproof, but this is about as good as it's gonna get. Um, you'll still see VMware services running, um, but as far as the uh, system information goes, they'll actually see whatever we put here. All right, so we're gonna need a few items. Um, one of which is going to be 7-zip, which we are going to use to extract the VMware VMX.exe. Um, inside that is the ROM file that the system uses. Um, the next thing we're going to need is the Phoenix BIOS editor. We're going to use that to go ahead and change the manufacturer and the, uh, the model number of the VMware. All right, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and fire up 7-zip. We're going to go ahead and pull that file out of the VNX. Um, we'll go back to C colon. It's going to be in your program files x86. Then there you get down to VMware. We'll do VMware workstation in the x64 folder. On the VMware VMX.exe, you're going to right click 7-zip open archive. Alright, inside there we have a few folder, or actually no, one folder and a few files. I'll go ahead and click the uh, the RSRC folder here. Um, my system might be a little bit different than yours, but for the most part, you're gonna look for the folder that has the largest size. Inside of there, we're gonna have bin res. All right, so now we are looking for a 6006 ROM file. Uh, this is for the X64 VMwares, which most people probably are using. Um, if you need the uh, X32, you'll have to do some other research. Uh, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and open up our VMware folder. I'm going to place mine in the other. All right, so what we're going to do is just drag and drop that guy right onto that folder. We are going to rename it to a .rom file. All right, so we actually are finished with the 7-zip. So go ahead and close out of that. And we will open up the Phoenix BIOS editor. It's worth noting that you have to run this as administrator or it will crash. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and open up the ROM file. Mine was already in the correct folder, but we'll go ahead and browse down to the virtual machines, find out where you put it, hit open. All right, so here should look something similar to this. We are going to navigate down to the DMI strings window. As you can see, we have system manufacturer name and the product name. So what we can do is double click here and leave the quotes. You can change this to whatever you want. So for instance, I can do Tandy computer, hit OK. And the model, of course, is going to be my favorite computer, TRS. Dash 80. And it's worth noting that you can put a serial number in here, but that will not translate into the virtual environment for whatever reason. Um, towards the end of this video, I'll go in kind of more a advanced uh, section where we actually are able to change the serial number um, that Windows sees. So for now, I'm just going to leave that blank. So we go up here, we go build BIOS. So you want to build it? Okay. Yeah, no, I don't want to check the lock file. That's fine. Do I want to save it? Yes, I do. So I'm just going to rename this uh, 6006 slash new. Save it. All right. We'll go back in here and I'm going to actually delete the previous one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the dash new on there and just leave it as a 6006 ROM. All right, so then the next step is going to be, we're going to have to modify the VMX configuration. I like to use uh, Notepad++. So inside here, we have to add one bit of information, and that is going to be the BIOS440.filename equals the 6006.rom. 
and I'll have that uh, in the description so you can just copy and paste it into your VMX configuration file. All right, so what does that actually look like once we get the VMware fired up? I'll go ahead and pull over my screen here. Go ahead and log on. My fake name for the scammers. All right, so from here we can actually go into um, what they usually typically run is the MS32. And you'll see that our system manufacturer is now Radio Shack and the system model is a TRS-80. Um, this also is true if we run the uh, DX Diag. If I could spell correctly. And you'll also see that the system manufacturer and system model are correct. All right, one thing to also notice is that if we actually run the, um, get the serial number for the machine here using the WMIC command. Oops, it's a BIOS get. You'll see on mine that it actually says the TRS-80. Um, if you ran that on yours, you'd end up getting a VMware dash whatever the uh, UUID is. So um, if they pull your system information using this, which some of the um, remote software does, I believe BombGar and possibly Citrix will actually pull that serial number from this. Um, so they'll be able to see that right away. So we'll be able to change that in just a moment. One thing the other take note at, um, I went kind of too far, I guess. I don't know. I was able to add the uh, system information here. And that's pretty easy to do if you go into uh, regedit. And it's actually going to be, you can see down here, it's going to be computer, local machine software, Microsoft Windows, current version, OEM information. Uh, more than likely, these five things will be deleted off of yours. You can just right click new string value and type in, you know, logo. I can't because it's already there, but type in logo. And then I'm just using a, a normal, oops, get out of here. I'm just using a BMP file. It's a 100 by 100 um, bitmap. You can also change the manufacturer, Radio Shack, or whatever you want to do. Um, add your hours, support phone. So that shows up if you when they see this. It's kind of nice. All right, so the question has come up, how do we actually change the serial number inside of the virtual machine within Windows? Uh, it's kind of complex, but we'll, uh, we'll go through it together. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and um, get to your program files x86 VMware folder. VMware workstation, go to x64. Uh, we are going to take the vmware-vmx.exe and we are going to copy it to the desktop. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open a program called Hex Edit. You can find this uh, just using Google. It's a pretty small download. So from here, we're going to go to the desktop and we are going to open the vmware-vmx.exe. All right, so from here, we are going to search for a string that looks like this. Capital V, Mware, hyphen, percentage. Uh, make sure that match whole word is not checked, just like I have here. Uh, go ahead and hit find next. With any luck, you will find this section here, it's next to the SM BIOS, cannot replace serial number. What we can do here is we have the ability to change the VMware section of that. So you can have six characters. If you go over that, you are probably going to break the exe file. But for now, we are going to change this to a TRS-80. And I mean, you can change that to you know, Dell dash 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 or whatever you want to use. 
Um, just make sure that you don't increase the file size past, past those uh, seven letters. So from there, we go ahead and save it. We will go back to the desktop. We will find the VMware VMX. Cut that guy there. Go into program files. VMware 64. I'm going to go ahead and say replace. So now we have that in there. If we go back to VMware, with any luck, we can fire up this virtual machine. And it is worth noting that you will need VMware, um, the, the virtual machine itself, powered off. Uh, you don't necessarily have to close the VMware workstation application. Just make sure you don't have any of the uh, virtual machines running. And that's pretty much it. Um, we now have a system that, uh, for the most part, when they connect to it, um, if they see, you know, anything other than VMware, your chances are probably good that, you know, they might act a little bit differently with you. Uh, one thing to note is that they, they, if you go into services, you know, yeah, VMware is still, still down here. Um, I went ahead and uh, removed the uh, VMware display icon here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if I've missed anything, please let me know in the comments and I can try to add it to the description. Alright guys, have a good one. See you later.